Welcome back to the Blue Review. Big CY, Clint Yates over there, Greg Bergman. Thank you very much to Los Angeles International Airport, where changes are arriving daily to help reduce traffic, save travelers time, and transform the travel experience. Clint Yates, this loss to the Reds last night is one of the more frustrating ones that the Dodgers have had this season. Yeah, bad loss. Um, bullpen does not come through for you on a day when your usual stalwarts did what they did. Freeman get yard, just dingers, appropriate, you know, appropriately went out again. And it's just at a point now where no matter what the lead is, you're kind of worried every single time the starter comes out of the game. And that from an anxiety level in general is very tough to deal with as a team. You just can't give up three runs in the nine hole and expect to, in the nine spot and expect to win a baseball game in Major League Baseball. That's, I mean, it's just sort of as simple as that. And that's what happened last night, even though Gratterall had kind of a wild, you know, a wild play where he turned a double, he ended up being on the back end of a double play at first. It was a bad loss for the Dodgers. And this is the kind of games that are the difference between 100 win teams and 90 win teams, if you ask me. I, I don't even think you're wrong on that either. It is. You can't lose these types of games. And now, look, is it still June? Is it still early? Yeah, absolutely. But the fact of the matter is, you can't keep losing games like this, especially in the way that they did. You had an 8 3 lead. You had, like you said, the Just Stingers. You had the Grand Slam. The bullpen, there is now it to a point where I don't trust anybody. I don't know how you feel, Clinton, right. but I don't trust anybody in that bullpen outside of Evan Phillips. Now, Phillips came in, and he was good, and he went through 2-3-4, which is kind of what you want in that fireman role. But they just don't have anybody that they throw out there outside of him where you say, he's going to get through that clean. That's the, the guy, dude to go out there. The guys in the bullpen just feels like guys in the bullpen. It doesn't really feel like there's no. a structure to how they approach their different matchups. It's just the available guy or maybe the lefty-righty. And it doesn't feel that the strategy – whatever it may be is working out. It feels like those are just the arms in the arm barn. And therefore that's what you roll out. And listen, I'm not going to, I'm not going to fault Dave Roberts for that necessarily. I mean, there's a talent level there, but it doesn't, I don't, I'm not confident at all in what the latter half of the staff can do. And it showed on a night like last night, even with the guy in Ellie making his big league debut, he looked great by the way. Um, you know, they just, they just, they don't have what I would call a world series level, anything from a pitching standpoint right now. And Syndergaard's going again tonight. I know. So that's, I mean, you're looking at possibly another blow up from Syndergaard tonight and you don't know what you're going to get, but this was what the issue that I had. So you had, you had Evan Phillips pitch the eighth, the two, okay. three, four, and he was fantastic. Coming up for five, six, seven, were a bunch of righties. Caleb Ferguson is a left-hander. Shelby Miller is a right-hander in right. that situation. If you're, I mean, I get that you don't, you want to go with your higher leverage relievers, and that's probably Caleb Ferguson that you believe can get through that. But he was bad. He was really, really bad. He had three walks and a hit by pitch, and that's how you lose these types of games. And so, obviously, gave up the single later on. The Shelby Miller did, but if Shelby comes in with the righties, who he's been very, very good against righties this yeah. year, that's probably the better overall situation. So I, you don't want to blame Roberts too much, but he kind of gets some blame in that situation. No, if, if you disagree with the matchup, yeah, that, I mean, that's a blame game situation. I don't, yeah. I don't have a problem with that sidebar. Jake Fraley, who got hit is the cousin of my friend, Jason Fraley, who I used to work with in DC at a radio station. Just letting you know. Oh, look at that. All oh, the old radio station thing coming. Personal right connections. That's what life is all about. <laughs> no, but I do think there's something to be said about that matchup choice. Uh, it didn't work, you know, and that's nope. how you figure things out. Let's just hope that doesn't happen again in a similar type of situation now that you know what you're going to, at least you have an idea of what you're going to get from that role. Right. I think they need to do something now. They need to do it immediately. They need to start doing something with this bullpen, whether it's going out and getting a, a high leverage reliever or whatever it happens to be, because it's not about a guy that's going to come from AAA, most likely it's going to be no. the fix to everything. So if they're going to get somebody, they got to go out and get somebody. And that kind of leads me to something that I know you probably don't want to talk about just yet. But when Dustin May comes back, Oh, God, here we go. What's up? You, uh, you know, I know you don't want to do it yet. When Dustin May comes back, this is my thought. When Dustin May gets back, he is no longer in the starting rotation. He mm. is the closer. I don't, I, I don't hate that idea. I don't know that I would have him close. I mean, I, I just... Stuff fits. His stuff fits in that closer role. Yeah, it does. He throws a lot of strikes. All right, I have to think about this. First of all, the entirety of the when Dustin May comes back thing is just a whole other discussion. Yeah, but I don't, know I don't hate here. that idea. I don't actually hate that idea. I will, I will give that some thought in the old noggin. 
put it in the brain, put it in the brain. Let's talk about it another time. It's just a, it's a thread. It's a thread. Clint. Okay. Talk about this. Yeah, like as, like as Sedano would say, morsels. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> just, as we, oh. we got manufactured rungs that we started up on. We exactly. put it together, the just stingers, and now we're going to put the dust and main to the closed roll into that thread.